Western Sydney International, Nancy Bird Walton Airport, is set to open in late 2026 and will bring exciting new opportunities to the region. Preliminary flight paths for the new airport have been developed and the Australian Government will be seeking feedback from the community on these flight paths during the public exhibition of the draft environmental impact statement. When developing flight paths, the design team is guided by a range of factors. One important factor is Sydney's other airports and the surrounding airspace. The Greater Sydney airspace covers the area between Sutherland and Bargo in the south, the Central Coast in the north and Mount Victoria in the west. Airspace above Greater Sydney is the busiest in Australia. Multiple airports operate in the area and have varying flight paths and procedures. These include Sydney Kingsford Smith, Camden and Bankstown. Emergency services and restricted airspace around military sites such as RAAF Base Richmond, Holsworthy Army Base and Orchard Hills Defence Establishment also determine where planes can and cannot travel. Additionally, flight paths need to consider environmentally sensitive areas like the Greater Blue Mountains World Heritage Area to the west. Although Sydney airspace is complex, the 2016 Environmental Impact Statement for WSI found that there was enough capacity to safely incorporate new flight paths for WSI into this busy airspace. Later this year, you'll be able to provide feedback on the preliminary flight paths during the draft environmental impact statement process. Your comments will help refine the flight paths for the detailed designs. For more information, visit wsiflightpaths.gov.au.